to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. If I'm looking like this, it means it's a Sunday. Well, technically no, because you could look like this every morning, Shan. But you know if we start vlogs like this, it is a Sunday, my lovelies, and it is a memory day. It is a memory day indeed where we are going for some good food. Mm -mm -mm. It is Sunday the 22nd of January. And if you remember last year, me and mum, we bought a few little bits on like Virgin Days and places we'd been before where they just sent out random offers. And we had an email from the London Steakhouse, which was Marco Pierre White's restaurant in Liverpool Street. Now, we went there last year and deliciosa, let's just say. But they had a different offer where I think, I could be wrong, we get a bottle of wine with this one. All I think we have to pay for are sides. So last time when we went, it was like a standard little set menu and I had a ribeye steak, which I had to pay a premium for. But I think in this one, you get ribeye in it. Now, part of me is thinking, girl, are you going to have the ribeye again or are you going to try something different? I can't remember what I had for start though. I feel like, mum, I'm going to have to look back on my pictures, ain't I? Look at this, we're not even a minute into the uh, video and I'm already digressing, but I don't like to try and have the same stuff when I go to places, I like to try different. However, when it comes to steak, steak is my baby. I do love a good steak and we don't have it often. We've got a couple in the freezer from the butchers, but I have to really be in a mood for a steak and I've been saving myself. I'm not going to lie guys, I've actually been saving myself. I'm so excited. So, Today is a little memory day in London with us. Me and Mama G, as I say, we're hitting up Liverpool Street again. It's going to take us a while to get there because there's problems on the trains. So that is fabulous. The train that we need to like get to a point where we can get a tube into London is just, it's not good. So uh, I'm going to quickly jump in the bath and stand a little bath time lapse and then we'll get ready. Hair, hair is an absolute mess, okay? Not even dry shampoo can save this. When I get back, I need to wash my hair, okay? I need to wash my hair. Um, but for now, I feel like we might go pigtail plait vibes. That's how we're thinking. But yeah, hope you enjoy it. And you might recognise the outfit I'm wearing because I'm actually going to be wearing the £30 outfit that mum picked me up from our challenge video because it just looks so blooming good. So yes, I need a coat though because it's cold. C to the O to the LD cold. There is frost and kind of like a very thin dusting of snow down here right now so hey ho but yeah shan let's wake up let's get in the bath let's scrub a dub dub and let's have a day with me and mum in london eating some good food again eh <laughs> When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes So my lovelies, I'm out of the bath A.K.A. feet squeaky chair Squeaky chair is in force Let's uh, get some dry shampoo on this barnet I think I definitely need to wash it tonight. It's definitely a wash day. But I have just done up my little bit of skincare. I've done my classic Clinique get your eye makeup off because I had lashes on yesterday and there was still a little bit of crusty, dusty, musty glue on my eyes. Fabulous. Moisturiser, go to. But guys, I picked up some bits from Body Shop in the cell. And can I just tell you these have changed my skincare routine so i've picked up two liquid pills i got one which was the drops of youth and i got the drops of light wow this one i've only used once but i kind of want to keep this for more like spring and it also says pollution clearing so this is more for when my skin feels congested i think whereas this one is the pure resurfacing liquid pill with brightening red algae extract from the north atlantic and vitamin c derivative this absolute canon canon i hope that's focusing there we go this 
is a game changer. Let me tell you, I put it on earlier, done my skincare and the stuff that come off of it, it literally strips your skin. And I've now put my moisturiser on, my face feels soft like a baby's bottom. Hair is doing its thing, as we can tell, and I need to put some slap on. I don't quite know how we're going to go with makeup today. I feel like we're going to go very neutral. Very, like, basic. Well, not basic, but, like, kind of just like my everyday. I don't want to go, like, full out. Because when I come back, I've got to take it off. Because, oh, actually, no. I've got to fill my um, sit-down with shine light. And maybe I'll do that with a bit of slap on. It's not really the vibe, though, is it? I like my sit-downs with shine, like, hair up, no makeup. We'll see. Because I do need to have a bath. When I get back, not a bath, wash my hair. I've just got out of the bath. You're probably thinking, Shannon, all your dressing gowns as well. So my red dressing gown is my everyday dressing gown. My white dressing gown is purely when I get out of the bath. And then my little baby Yoda snoody is probably like my evening thing. <laughs> and then I have my other snoodies. I just, yeah, but my white one is always when I come out of the bath. This or in the summer, it's my yellow flower one. So yeah, I've just done a little bit of skincare. I am now, what is the time? Half nine, I've got an hour, and that gives us two hours to get there. So, shall we have a little time lapse of me putting some slap on? And, ow, I don't know how I'm feeling about these short nails. I really feel like I want to put some fake acrylics on. Because it's not really a bit of me. Why has my battery turned itself off? Portable charger, what are you doing? Oh, it's because your leads come out. Are you going to work? Oh, guys, what's up with me? Me portal bank. Why do you keep popping out? You're fully charged. There we go. I mustn't have pushed it in far enough. I definitely need my portal bank for London because the worst thing that can happen is my phone to die, which it probably isn't too bad because I know roughly where we're going. It's just when we come out of the main station, I can't remember which direction. And <laughs> if you know me, I am poop with directions so yeah kind of need that i think i'm going to take my big bag i think i'll chuck my laptop in there just in case well i say just in case i always have this thing like oh i'm going to do some editing on the train never do but i like to have it with me and of course the hard drive so i think i might take my big black bag mum said it's not forecast for rain so that's good and then what perfume to have today i feel like i need like an adult perfume I might wear Libra that I got for Christmas because that's quite like a not a, I was gonna say muscular smell <laughs> it's like an adulty smell right oh everything is buzzing 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 now I just forgot did I even set today's video to go live yes I did phew you know when you have that thing and I'm like oh, today's video that went up was how are you a different little video for me but I just wanted a check-in so yes yeah, Shan stop rabbiting and let's try and put some slap on this face and look a bit half decent eh I see greasy man guys i need to wash it should have washed it last night but i was just too lazy i have however one of you lovelies actually messaged me and said because i'm always pulling my dressing gown across and it is a lot better than it normally is but you tie it around the back game changer honestly right i don't feel like i can get away with this loose loose do I feel like I need it in pigtails? 
this is what I'm thinking. Pigged house? Is it windier? Or could I get away with this? Because I'm going to have a scarf on. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think pig tails would look cute though. And it would keep it out of my face, but then hair looks more classy. I don't know. Let's get the outfit on. Decide what coat I'm wearing. I think I might bring out one of my Ted Baker coats, you know. Hmm. I might actually do that. <gasps> Let's get ready and then we can see what Mama G's wearing and then I will see which perfume of choice I will be wearing. And what earrings? I don't want to keep wearing my pearls. Maybe we'll put a bit of Trezor in, I don't know. Well, let's have a look, eh? Look who is ready. Do you want to back up a bit so they can see your outfit? Oh. Back it up, back it in. I've got a Let me get now. in. I've got my push boots on, viewers. Mum, have you got... Oh, Mum, you can't have your socks showing, darling. Oh, well, all right, then. I'll, We're going to have to... I'll, I'll, I'll take them off and put them on. So I've got two pair of socks on, viewer, because it's so cold. It's all right, I'll keep them on, but I'll put my jeans over the top. Yeah. There. All right, then. <laughs> and then I am in the outfit that Mum got me. Yeah, you I've look nice. i got my knee-high winter crop it, boots. It, look, it looks like you're going riding. That's what I thought, like an equestrian vibe. <laughs> Junky, <laughs> junky. Not junky. No, I know. A few pounds. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to eat today. I know we are going to eat today. I'm going to primary viewers because I need some more long sleeve tops. Very cold today. Oh, you're actually wearing your necklace. I wear it all the time. No, you don't wear it all the yes, time. Yes, I do. And, and my bracelet. bracelet. Well, at least you've got your bracelet on. Yeah. Oh, the last few times, Sean, and I've been out, you've not even noticed what I've had on. Well, because I buy her stuff like the boots and they sit there for two years and she forgets that she has one them. One year, viewer. One year. But yeah, I've just got my ring on from Caroline. I've also got the chain on from Caroline. I just wanted something really dainty. And I've gone for Trezor earrings as opposed to my studs. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to wrap up with glove, scarves. Have you got a spare pair? Because I can't remember I've put Caroline's. Yeah, so if you use them. Oh, ones, thank you. And thank I will uh, get my gloves. And then I'm going to chuck Sip on. <laughs> Mum's going to uh, rearrange her jeans. Because yeah. I don't think bright green fluffy bed oh. socks is... <laughs> It's a vibe for that place, maybe. Um, I'm going to chuck on... I'm actually going to bring out a Ted Baker. I'm going to wear red. I was going to take my long green one to go with the hair, but I'm thinking red because it will go with the top. And I'm thinking a big, chunky scarf. Get my gloves out. I've got my big bag. I'm actually taking my book on the train as well because I always say I want to read. I don't, but I actually want to. So, yeah, let's actually get finalised ready and then we can hit the tracks. <laughs> so we're all ready. We are coated up. I need to try and get mum another parka because this is her warm coat. I'm in the red Ted Baker today. Mum said to me, can you not get it done up? I was like, I can, but I don't want it done up because then I get too hot. I'm so going to look for another one. We'll have to I've try and find it, yeah. one, yeah. It is so warm, viewers. Because you haven't really... I'm trying to think of I've got another one. coat, but the, the jumper will be long. Um, yeah. yeah, I was going to wear my long green one, but I thought we'll go with red. Yeah. And uh, now everything you will see will be phone footage. Roll on the time lapse of travel and good, good food. I need to get my gloves as oh, well. Oh, well. You got your gloves? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of mine. It never gets me down. City of mine. How I love, how I love the city of in the city i was raised on its edges my pop work is life when it's calm blocks up i'm loving its center if i could live here forever think it'd be for the better i love the weather even though it's fog 24 7 i love the people this is city i met all my best friends and i want to thank every break i want to thank every entrance to every building that i step in in this city of mine oh you most my best moments in life See, I fell in love for the first time in Golden Gate Park I saw my first rap show at Great American Hall I used to beg my homies for a ride across the bridge to goof off And spend the whole damn day doing whatever we want Keep drove us down to Ice Place while we roll up a blunt And me and Jack would get stony, walk around and get lost Don't think I'll ever truly pay back all I was lucky to get Just by walking through the city, no, I'm a small part of this I 
I never really had a place to call my own So I travel and I roam till I find that But I'm full of adventure so I wander and I venture And it's safe to say that really I don't mind that I book a flight to try to figure where my mind's at A spot where I don't spend no money just some time at I mix and mingle with the people till I learn a little I brought some weed and baby maybe we could burn a little She said you're funny, I said no I'm David and I left Sun shining, birds chirping, let me take a breath I'm headed to the city where my chance to make it best what people like to give a little then you take the rest i'm hoping one day maybe i can find a we are back oh guys i feel like such a stuffed piggy <laughs> i actually do i could not eat another mouthful well i might be able to have a bit of cake later might be able to have a bit of cake it was delicious absolutely delicious let's see how would you rate it what today? Yeah. Excellent. Ten out of ten. Lovely. We're going again. Lovely. We're going to go Roast down dinner. maybe for a Sunday dinner yeah. in a couple of months. We'll see what that's like. But I'm not happy. I was due a parcel today. And of course, parcels always come when we're at. So I put it to redirect to my next door neighbour. No. It had been left on the doorstep since half eleven. It is now like four o'clock. That could have been nicked. And it wasn't a cheap parcel, so um, I'm not very happy. I will be complaining to Amazon and Hermes, that's for sure. Because if that had gone missing, my God, that would have actually been catastrophic. Actually catastrophic. Ay, ay, ay. So, I think now I'm going to go for a sleep for a little while. <laughs> I think I need a little bit of a nap. So I'll probably check in with you when this is all off, because this is not going to stay on, okay? This is going to come off. We're going to relax. I'm probably going to jump in the bath. Oh, you might see me later. I'm going to try and wash my hair. Going to try and wash the hair. I think that is what we'll do. Nap, bath, hair wash. And then you'll see me. <laughs> hair is washed. I tried to cover the roots. I mean, they're still there, but it's a lot better than what it was. Oh, and here we have the blender upstairs. Fabulous. I'm going to start filming sit down with Shan because I need to get that done. But uh, yes. Oh, did I forget to put the... Yeah, I think I forgot to empty my bath water. Oops. It looks a lot more emeraldy on here, doesn't it? Does anyone else's blender sound like Air Force One jetting off or is it just footloose? Yes, I think so. So, it is lovely, freshly washed. I'm thinking of putting it in a big high plait so that it's curly for tomorrow and then film and sit down with Shan. That is what I'm thinking. Might have to get mum to plait my hair. If it is, you will see her. But yeah, finally washed my hair after don't know how many weeks. Oh, lovely. Well, I'll have to wait for them blending their ultra healthy juices. I mean, what else would you do with a Sunday evening at uh, half six, eh? <laughs> I am gonna plait my hair. Well, I'm not. I miss. Because I can't plait my hair. You plait my hair, please. Mm -hmm. 27 years old and I still don't know how to plait. <laughs> I have to get mum to do it. <laughs> Try not to pull the pony because I've got it a nice high one today. <laughs> Let me know if anyone else can't plait. I love curly hair, but I just can't plait to save my life. <laughs> I don't think I was ever tall. Oh, you've got that nice thing with them curl I know, but I'm just a dead bolt, yeah? I'm too lazy to mermaid wave my hair right now. Yeah. It's easy if mum just does it really tight. Oh, I'm going to film sit down with Shan. Then we can have a chill. I'm going to paint the paper. I'm going to... Ah! Oh! Oh, oh, oh hang on. Oh, she always gets my baby hairs <laughs> Oh, you've, you've not got none of that green stuff on you, have you? No, no, I was... No. I, I tried to be really good. Yeah. Because you can't keep it. I don't want to use them wipes anymore. No, They've, like, no. scarred me. Keep still. <laughs> Try to go all the way to the bottom, please. All right, but I've only got to go because some of the hair's not level. All right, give me the thing. Put your head... Then? Because I can feel you're pulling the ponytail. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking we ain't got no drink, but I got within box of lemonade, didn't I? Yeah. I'll put them in the thing. I 
I'm starting to get a bit hungry. <laughs> shouldn't do, should we? <laughs> well, let's go back up there tonight. Oh, imagine that lady's face. We're if back again. Back in, we're just coming to have our roast dinner now. Well, after I've filmed Sit Down with Shan, do you want me to do some nachos? Because we've got that salsa and guac to use. And we've got no, some no, cheese. No. You need to do just a little bit here. There's a little bit on your ear. Yeah, but I'll yeah. do that oh, with Vaseline yeah. later. I'm not putting them wipes uh, and wipes and What do you mean, nachos? I've got some of them big tortilla Doritos left. We've got some cheese. I'll do some guac and salsa after I film Sit Down with Shan. What, something cold? No, put them under the grill with the cheese. No, no, I'm not having the grill on too. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's this side food after I filmed. Right. Oh, Hair is a perfect little plait. I'm going to film Sit Down with Shan and I'll see you after. <laughs> Let's see if Mum's still hungry. You're still hungry? Oh, uh, maybe pass. Why? But have a look what's in there. What? Little schnick. Schnickety schnick schnick. It looks like an absolute laundry in here. <laughs> Let's uh, move that and pop you. Oh no, where can we pop you? We will pop you on top of Beecham's Flu Plus capsules. Now we can't cook anything. That's the annoying thing. <laughs> I am fancying like, I want me tortillas, but mum won't put the uh, grill on. I might have to just, oh, she's got rolls left. Do I want rolls? No. I feel like I just want my tortillas with guac and salsa. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I would really love a roll with some turkey medallions and a fried egg but somehow I don't feel like she's going to do that so it might just be guac guac and salsa oh I've got a bit of the iron brew left been uh, living off of iron brew now since we're coming into Burns night I mean, I could cook a haggis. <laughs> oh, I've got some rice. Oh, do I want some rice to warm me up? What have I got? Golden veg and five whole grains. Why do I feel like I want... <laughs> I want it all. This is really bad. No. I can't start cooking. <laughs> I feel like I'm just going to have some tortilla chips with salsa and guac. Because I don't feel like mum's going to want me cooking bacon when the washing's in here. She's definitely not going to want me cooking bacon, is she? No. I'm going to take my Doritos and I've got my salsa and my guac. And should we go and do a bit of editing? We'll go and catch up and do some editing. Now I've filmed, I need to get it edited to export and then go to sleep and then wake up and put it out for tomorrow. Hopefully it's in time. <laughs> I've got hair washed. I'm in my snoody. snoody. I've just had some tortillas, guac and salsa. Oh, that green stuff? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe get some chicken breasts out tonight. All right. And then I can maybe get some wraps and we can do some fajitas tomorrow. Well then do you want me to get some wraps? So I can get some salsa. We've got cheese. Yeah, but have, have you still got some guac and some salsa left? I haven't used whole tarp. No, I've but, a bit. but uh, we've still got half a slab of normal cheese there, haven't we? Get some chicken breast out, I've got some Mexican spice. Well then, oh, do you want me to get, uh, what, eight wraps tomorrow? Do you want bran or why? I'll go bran, try and be healthy. Alright then, okay. After what we've eaten today. Oh yeah, it's good. So, we kind of went for different stuff and then kind of didn't. So, I found on my phone, we went last year the 22nd of April. So, oh, that is like spring. Three three months more and we'd have been mm. a year. Oh. We went spring. So, mum was saying like last time because last time I think it was through Virgin that what? I got it. Yeah, but you said you didn't get this time, did no, you? No, this time I got it directly from the Marco Pierre website. Oh. So first time we went, we didn't get a drink and it was just a three-course meal. Yeah. Didn't get any sides and for the steak you had to pay a supplement. 
So last year, mum had for starter prawn cocktail. Yeah, yummy. And I had kipper pate. This year, mum had kipper pate and I had the soup, which was cauliflower. Was it nice? It was, it was very hot. It was steaming. I almost burned. I think I have burnt the oh, roof of my mouth on the first hot, one. Oh, you mean hot, hot? Yeah, I feel yeah. like I've burnt the roof oh, right, of my mouth right. with the first sip. Okay, yeah. The only thing, and mum said, I thought you would have got bread with your soup. But I was like, maybe not, because they think it would like bloat you out perhaps for the yeah. meal. And I want you more with my little mum wanted more bread. But I remember the kipper patty from when I had it, and it was very... Very nice. Mum said it's very kippery. It was. It was very yeah, fishy. Yeah, it was nice though, wasn't it? But it was nice. And yeah. mum left like half us and I was like, don't leave it. Like, I had mine, but I ate mine out of the bowl because it was that nice when I had it. Yeah, I only left the crusty bit on top. <laughs> That's like the potted thing. Yeah. And then for Maine, last time mum had, they call it wheelers fish cake. And it was a fish cake with the egg on top that That's mum it. had last time. And I had ribeye last time. <clears throat> I had ribeye again because it was included. Last time I had to pay a supplement for my ribeye, but this time it was included. And it was so, so good, so I thought I have to get it again. And mum had beef bourguignon. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? With creamed potatoes. People might look at the portion size and be like, that was tiny. But for what they give you, it is filling, and I think it's enough for a three course. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you'd have maybe had five slices of bread with your starter, you would have bloated yourself Oh, out. I see what you mean, yeah. So it's yeah. kind of like portion control. yeah. I had the ribeye, rare, with a peppercorn sauce and my tiger prawns. <coughs> very, very happy with that. And then with that also, you got one side included each. So mum had haricot vert, which is green beans. Good job you was there because I didn't know where, because I thought it was haricot beans spelt funny. I was like, haricot vert, I was like, it's green beans. <laughs> I remember that. That was page. nice though. That was nice. They looked like they had like some type of like butter or a glaze on it. Yeah, I think it was garlic. I'm and sure. with mine, I had house fries, and then any separate size was six pound fifty. So we got the onion rings and the potato croquettes, which we had last time. The onion rings is all I've been banging on about. Now I know we was going back. I was Ma like, massive viewers, massive. Need the onion rings, need the onion rings, and the potato croquettes are like just the most perfect, soft, not, not, cheesy garlic. They're, they're nice, but they're rather small, aren't they? Compared yeah. to the big onion rings we have, <laughs> but. They're very Moorish. I think if they yeah. was big, it might be too dense. Like, right, they're so right. fluffy. You have sprinkled cheese over top, and then there's, like, garlic in it. And, yeah. oh, so, so nice. I thought you might have tried the braised cabbage with your mane. But I think it was good that you had, the like, a veg to go with it. So, it was like... Because I was going to have the mushrooms, but there was mushrooms in with the uh, mm. bourguignon, wasn't it? And then, for dessert, last time mum had apple crumble, and I had lemon posset... They was both still on the menu, but they had a new edition of chocolate mousse, so we both went for the chocolate mousse. But that was that, a big glass, wasn't it? Nice, nice. It had like a chocolate wafer, all sprinkling and cream, and then the mousse. When I say the mousse was thick, it was thick, like it coated the back of the spoon. I thoroughly enjoyed mine. You left a bit of your mousse, so didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, no more. Because I'd had enough. I was well. It seemed... But we had lots to drink, didn't we? So... With this one, so I got this directly through the restaurant because where we'd been and I'd gave my email, they just send you if there's any offers coming up. So I got this, I think, I want to say like maybe August bank holiday. I think it was like last summer. I don't think it was Black Friday. I feel like I got this in the summer. and it's, Because the Black Friday, you got the four virgins when it yeah, was... Yeah, this I think I got yeah, August oh, bank right. holiday. Okay. And... It was the £150 wine and dine experience, but they had it for 75 quid. So that worked out at 32 50 each. But also with that, so bearing in mind last time, I can't remember how much I paid last time. I think I might have paid like 60 or 70 for the Virgin. Yeah, that's between but that was us, just isn't it? standard, yeah. yeah. Yeah, So this one, it was supposed to be 150 but you got it for 75 with the offer. And within the 150 uh, I was going to say 175 then, within the 150 you had, obviously, the ribeye was included. You didn't have to pay a premium. You had a side included with your mains. And then coming in, you had a glass of champagne, a bottle of wine up to 35 quid, yeah. and a bottle of steel water. Which mum was yeah. like, he come over and he, he was like, champagne? And mum was like, hmm. I was like, yes, yeah, included. And then the wine come over 
and she was like, oh, and I was like, we just went for like a classic, like probably house white to them. It, it was quite nice, wasn't it? It weren't too bad. You all know, I'm not really a wine drinker. I only left a tiny bit, yeah, like I'd yeah. done good. We had half a bottle each, we had our glass of champagne, we had our bottle of still water, which is like a fiver. And I said to mum, so when you add up like 35 for the bottle of wine, fiver for the bottle of water, glass of champagne's about 15 quid in there. That's 70 pounds, isn't it? So you've basically got your food for a fiver, or well, £2.50 each. Yeah, yeah. So our meal, I think, at the end of it, with you, you have a service charge like gratuity, 12.5%, it comes to £28. I think it was 103 and then they took off the 75 we paid and that was the balance with your tip. But Yeah, but that's with the gratuity as well, wasn't it? But I said to mum, even if that was £150 the experience, for 75 each, I still think that's well worth it. Yeah, yeah. What, for all the drink and the food? Free yeah. course meal, bottle of wine. Yeah. I still think that would be worth it. And, and champagne and the water yeah. and the sides and... I still think that would be good. Because it's not something like, we're going to go back for the roast, didn't we, in the summer? Yeah, yeah. Because I said, if we go in the summer, there's like quite a few or pubs. Or the spring. Yeah, quite a few pubs around there. So we could go maybe have a pub and then go and have a bite to eat. All we really saw was the Yorkshire put like a top hat. We didn't yeah. really see what was on the plate, did we? I saw like carrots or something. Oh, right. And then maybe some roast potatoes. Do you reckon really look at Do you reckon it's a, a mixed thing or it's beef, chicken or pork? I don't lamb? know. We'll have to have a look at the menu. But for the location of it, it's so easy to get to. Mm, I could go myself now. <laughs> and you'd probably go to the pubs around the corner of it. Yeah. We got there as well. And because it was Sunday, Petticoat Lane was on, uh, the market. Oh, my God. Mum was eyeing up some coats. We saw everyone with suitcases. Yeah, them there two was, big suitcases yeah. that lady had. They was well nice, they was weren't huge. they? They were huge. Mum saw some coats and tops. I saw, like, giant teddy bears. It reminded me, like, proper... Kind of like Del Boy vibes, like yeah, yeah, good yeah. proper market. Like we don't have markets down in our areas anymore, which is bad. But it was like very, I liked it because it was so multicultural and there were so many different things. And then like food stalls, I was like, oh, even the food shops there. When we get off the off the train, it's loads. You got Greeks, you got Five Guys, you got something else in it. So many there. So um, I definitely feel like that could be somewhere where if we want to go out one weekend, we will just call up and book. Yeah, yeah. Because we've been there twice and we've never paid full price. No. But I genuinely feel that the majority of tables there was vouchers. Yeah, yeah, because they give them, they kept asking, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. And I said, if that's the way that they can make their money and still make a profit, why not? Yeah, yeah. I said, I feel like there should be a lot more restaurants that do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the Sunday dinner, I've never seen a Sunday dinner on there, like, offer of a thing. No, no, but we can still go and try, I think it's about 25 for that Sunday dinner, which isn't too bad, because, like, in Essex, you can pay 22, 23, but how much don't was you? the, uh, how much is a cocktail, a 10 or 15, was it? It's about 12, I think. Yeah, because yeah. Because there was a table next door to us that must have had the menu we had last time, because she had the green cocktail. That's which it. Which is what I had last time, I oh, recognised. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, right, right. So that's the Virgin Experience one. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I think, like, if they can obviously... Well, if they sell it at 150 they're clearly making a profit. Yeah. If they can sell it at 75 and still make a profit... Yeah. Then I think, like, a lot more restaurants in London should do stuff like that. To bring the clientele in, Yeah. It? Yeah. Because, like, now we've been twice. I said I would go back and pay full price because we've never had... Yeah, but we're going again to another one, <laughs> aren't we? We're going to um, a different Marco Pierre White, Mr. White, in Leicester Square. That's Hope, not hopefully he'll be there, viewers, with his funny hat on. Dun -dun. It's not till July or August, I think. I've Summertime. Got that yeah. Yeah. But I was just like, and we went the first Hollywood. time. Hard Rock. Not Hard Rock, Rock, yeah. Hard yeah. Rock Cafe. Um, the first time we went, it was nice. And then, say, so we're going back the second time. We had the same waitress as last time. And she's very nice, isn't she? Yeah. And it's like... You go in there and, like, the first time we went, like, we got quite dressed up, I'd say, smartish. But it's so smart cash. Yeah. You could go in there in, like, jeans and a hoodie and a top. Well, that first time we saw that man in a pair of shorts, wasn't it? It's like I sent a picture to one of my friends and they said, oh, it looks really posh. I was like, it's actually not. It's such a chilled vibe in there. And they're, they're very... They don't rush you. Like, they say when you book it, oh, you get an hour and 45 on your table. But that was more than adequate because we got in at about quarter past 12 and we left, I think, about quarter past two, and that was when our table was due to be up. Yeah, yeah. And they don't but, rush you. The service is quick, but not quick so that it's like, yeah, yeah, you're finished, yeah. you start, you're out, da-da. And the, the waitress lady, she's very kind. Have you finished? 
you know, yeah, like they don't rush you at all. The only thing we couldn't couldn't find is whether the gratuity is for her, isn't it? Yeah. We, next time we go, we're going to take some cash. Does I say, I don't She's know very how nice. Tips work in there, but yeah, I said like I don't see first time because if you go somewhere once and you have good service, you think oh okay could be a blip. When you go back oh, the second time, if yeah. you have good service again, that's why I said like if we went back and had to pay full price, I would actually like to see what their <clears throat> normal menu is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what the difference is on there. Yeah. But we'd definitely go for the dinner. See a Sunday roast. I have got a virgin experience for a Sunday roast somewhere in London. I can't remember where. We've got to look to book that. Waiting for my blooming oh, video right. to export. It's taking right. so long tonight. I need to go to sleep in a minute. But, um, yeah. Can you leave that on all night? I will have to to upload yeah. oh, then, okay. over the thing. Yeah. But, oh, there we go. Just done. Um, how long has that took them to upload? An hour? No, no, it's just exported out. It's not even uploaded yet. I've got to put it into YouTube now. Oh, right. It's literally just exported out of uh, iMovie. And how long was that? An hour? About half hour, but oh. it could take up to like 15 hours to put into YouTube. Is it a long video then? It's not too long. It's only about an hour. Oh, it's right. just a sit down with sham. It, do other people's take that long then? No, because other people's probably got really good internet. Oh, right. <laughs> they yeah. pay like maybe £100 a month for Oh, jeez. I don't pay that much. No, no, no. Oh, and that was another thing. Um, When I went to a property viewing, they stipulated in there who you had to have your broadband with, open reach. Because when I looked in the cupboard... No, sure, no, but open reach is uh, the people that supply it. Yeah, but... That's BT. Yeah, and I said to them, I said, oh, what's the box? And they said, oh, you have to have broadband through them. And I said... So that's going to be BT then, isn't it? But what if I don't want it? Like, because BT is yeah. probably like very expensive. I'm not going to lie. It's that black box, isn't it? No, it's a big white one. And I was like, oh. but what if I don't want it? They was like, oh no, like if you have broadband, I think it was like that or Virgin. And I thought two of the most expensive ones out there. Yeah. And you can't have any other broadband on that site. So, so the person who's made them houses and that then must have a contract. They've got think, a contract with, with them that. You know, like Auntie Sarah. Yeah. But but she changed with her house. So if you buy that house or whatever you're going to do, you've got to have a BT because open reach is just the thing for BT. They're the people well, you'd have that to have if BT, no, then. that if you have Sky us open reach come out. That's BT, and that oh. if you've got problem, but BT do actual broadband. Yeah, that's what it said. Yeah, it was so it's for, so it's BT. Then you got to have, which like, is well, expensive. If, yeah, I was like, what well, about what that? Oh, we'll blow them out then. So, uh, yeah, but definitely good. Let's say weather, it was cold, but at least it was dry. What, today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very sunny. Like, it was a nice day out, but it was still blisteringly cold. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely I, I don't freezing. know what the temperature, yeah, because I think the frost has come down again. So I don't know if there'll be a frost tomorrow. Great. Well, you don't go worry. You don't do the car. I didn't even ask you to do the car. No, you I do know, that but, off your own. No, but, but I'm up a half five, Shannon. Well, I'm up at four. And when I wake up, my hands are so cold, I want to put gloves on in my bed. Well, we're putting gloves in. You can, you've got the furry sheet. But she, viewers, she's got the heater here. And I'll say to Shannon, put it on. But she's put it away. I'll put it away. I can't bother to get it out now. So I'll just wrap up. But honestly, I'm in this snooty. I'm like a piece of toast Actually, under you here. could put that on my the... chest. Oh, God, yeah. <gasps> oh, you're cold. <laughs> I know. Um, actually, you could put that on. And if one of your bulbs blow, you know that that's too much going through when you've got your light on. No, because they blew when that was put away. That oh, was right. Nothing to yeah, do with right. That. It was just weird, wasn't it? I don't need a film. Once, I, once I've got this snooty on. Yeah. Like, if I, I said earlier, if I could go what to the... What have you got under, underneath then? Just a T-shirt. Have, if you, I have had... you not got your pyjama top on? No. If I could wear this in the gym, I'd go. I'd go, I'd go. be back to the gym by now. I'd run mean? on the treadmill in this. What, you sweat a lot? Yeah. Oh. You just keep warm. Oh, right. I'd be like, I'd do my classes in this. I'd be like, hi, I'm here. I might actually turn up to polite. Oh, I've got to pay my charge. I forgot to cancel me and classes the other night. Conked out at nine o'clock, woke up, cancelled them at six, but you have to give four hours notice. So I got charged eight quid. I was like, that's the joys of everyone active. What, what do you mean you have to charge? Because it's like cancel a late cancellation yeah. charge. So I cancelled at six and my class was at eight. You have to give four uh, hours oh, notice. Oh, I'll say, yeah, I'll say, yeah. But I conked out Friday night and was out to the cab. Oh, and well, living there. I was learn. like, oh, God. I was like, I forgot about that. But I might actually turn out to Pilates in this one, though, because I think the instructor should be like, oh, you're back. I'll be like, I'm back. And I am cosy. Is it cold in there, then? 
they have the aircon and all that because also if you're running around and that but yeah i'm not in don't, the uh don't don't do it yet you're not in the frame i'm mate. starting my first gym sessions will be at the log cabin yeah yeah yeah. because yeah. that way no one knows me there so i can slowly break myself but, in and but, i'm gonna go on hikes every day but really it's it's too cold to be in there in a in a just like all, all your nice gym wear isn't it i see people in the morning like half five running in shorts and i'm like oh my god how you have not got pneumonia i have no idea no but um yes we're detouring as always it's been a very nice i feel like a stuffed piggy like i feel really tired saying that though i've just sat and ate tortillas as well so that's probably not great have you wrapped everything up put it in the yeah. cupboard all right then so um there so are... really you shouldn't have had that before you went to bed what's that allowing your chest now mm. Oh, sorry. Don't matter. No. Um, so yeah, there are going to be a few more memory days every month going out. We're actually out next Saturday as well. Very exciting. I think you'll see that maybe middle of February. We're, go we're going to see Banksy next week. No, we're not going. It's not Banksy. I don't actually, I still can't remember the name is. I don't know where it is. I've definitely got to look into that for next week and make sure I don't book my gym classes for next week. No, no. Because it automatically puts me on next week, so I've got to cancel it because we're going to be up london once again hopefully no train strikes hopefully no delays no the trains was all right today weren't it weren't too bad in the end of it but straight on yes. off isn't it but uh yes i'm gonna sleep i've got work tomorrow fabulous right fabulous so if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below leave us a comment have you been to marco pierre white steakhouse it's just off liverpool street are you thinking of going there? Anything you want to ask, please do let us know down below. Or have you been to the Leicester Square one called Mr. White's, as I say, we're or, going or there. Or have you been to another famous uh, chef's restaurant, eh? Yeah. Any nice restaurants in London or anywhere actually over the UK? I know Manchester has loads of good food restaurants. Oh, we can go to King's Cross and then go to Manchester. Then. We'll have a little uh, road trip. But yes, I will. Uh, I don't know when we'll next see you because I don't actually know when this is going up. But I'm sure you will see us very, very soon. Take care and stay safe as always, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>